Hey, what's going on guys? I want to give you a quick idea for your pack for another option for fire starting. And that is one of these. Now a lot of people have seen these before. These are used for welding. Basically, it just makes some sparks. Okay? Um, this one happens to be this brand. I left the sticker on so you guys can see it. It's called a uh, Burnzomatic. That's a flint sparker. So all this uh, really does is just make sparks. Okay? We have an arm here that puts downward pressure on a flint, okay, and this unscrews and it's replaceable. And then this mimics your spark wheel on a Zippo. Okay, it's just a nice rough surface. All right, so there's downward pressure on here via this, you know, spring uh, type handle. Right here is the point where you squeeze together. It's nice and comfortable, as opposed to squeezing the bars, okay? And just drags across and makes sparks. So use this like a mini ferrocium rod. All right, so get yourself some dry material. In this case, I have some cattail fluff, a little bit of uh, dried grass mixed in there. Okay, just rest it over top. Make sure not to smother it so you can still move over. And there you go. All right, so here's another quick demo. You can see. Of course, uh, you would have some other tinder waiting to go with that. But I just want to give you a quick little demo, show you how this works. When you're all done, just blow out any debris that's in there. And you're good to go. I would definitely recommend getting some replacement uh, flints for this because they don't last all that long. You know, it's not meant for fire starting. It's meant to just throw some sparks uh, for welding. But a pretty cool little addition to your fire kit. Like I said, you can never have too many different ways to make fire. I definitely don't recommend this being your only way to make fire. You should have, you know, a nice ferrocene rod. You should have a couple of butane lighters as well. Um, and then a bunch of different fire starting materials, some fat wood and, you know, some of the chemical uh, stuff that's out there. But like, you know, like wet fire is probably one of my favorites. But I just want to show this to you because it is another option for fire starting. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day. And I'll see you soon. Take care.